In 1913, two farmers in South Africa uncovered a hominid fragments of a skull. According to some researchers, those fragments were quite peculiar. By doing some measurements, they concluded that the skull housed a brain 25% or more larger than our own. Also, they noted that the skull had big eyes and small childlike face and features. They called them the Boscop humans, named after the area in which they were discovered. This reminds me of today's description of grey alien abducting humans in their own bedrooms. Could this be a lost ancestor once part of the mankind's group? In some of his interviews, Lou Elizondo implied what if mankind is plural? Are we prepared to have that conversation? This group of humans, according to some measurements, had an average IQ of 150, and it's believed that they were here 10,000 years ago. Imagine if every other human was smart as Albert Einstein, but why did they disappear? There are a few theories and one accepted by the mainstream scientists is that the skull was human and that the Boscop humans never existed. But the two eminent neuroscientists Gary Lynch and Richard Granger who wrote the book Big Brain think differently. They categorize them as the instinct race closely related to humans and they are further elaborating their findings in the book. Lynch and Granger demystify the complexities of our brains and show us how our memory, cognition and intelligence actually function, as well as what mechanisms in the brain can potentially be enhanced to improve us. But what if the Boscop humans were never instinct? I will present three different possibilities of what might have actually happened. The first one is the crypto-terrestrial hypothesis, meaning their origin is from Earth, but we are not aware of them. They might be much older and advanced than us and possibly created or enhanced our DNA to use us for their needs. There is a lot of modern and ancient lore for this hypothesis that can be divided into many animation explainers. The main point is they are not extinct, they are still present, living among us and possibly in the oceans, thus making the human fall from the top of the food chain. The second hypothesis is that the Boscop humans were time travelers who went back in time to live their life and witness an interesting era. Modern research is showing that the future of human evolution is bigger heads and brains and smaller bodies. So it's possible that a few future humans decided to go back in time and explore their past. They might have passed some knowledge from the future to the locals who probably worshipped them as gods. The third hypothesis is the well-known extraterrestrial visitation of an alien species from some other solar system or galaxy far away from us. It may very well be true that our planet has been frequently visited by these travelers for thousands if not millions of years. So the Boscop skulls were extraterrestrial who somehow ended up dead on our planet 10,000 years ago. For sure the gatekeepers would like to dismiss the Boscop skull existence and deny any evidence suggesting that they existed. I hope you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe with notifications on. Right now I really need your support, so if you can please consider supporting me on Patreon, that's my only way to make this channel self-sustainable. Big thanks to my 9 Patreon supporters, link is in the description. See you in the next video.